Welcome to the one-in-one -one how to series, My Website Starting Guide. We'll show you just how easy it is to build your own website without the help of a developer using one-in-one's My Website package. After completing your My Website order, it normally takes just a few minutes for it to be set up. Click the link to your My Website from the order confirmation page as soon as it is ready. You can later access your My Website through the control panel by clicking on Edit Website and then clicking the Open button. Your My Website is set up with the color scheme you chose during ordering, as well as some initial content based on your business type, address, and company name. You can begin making changes right away by scrolling to the bottom of the page and clicking the Login button. Enter your control panel password and click Login. Here you can see some initial content has already been added and you can easily click through pages to view the initial site. If you see something that needs changing, just hover your mouse over the element, such as the address, and you'll see a box appear around it. Click the area with your mouse and now you can make changes to this text using a built-in text editor. It's as easy as that but don't forget to click the Save button when you're done. If you see some element of your page that does not apply to your business, simply hover your mouse over the element and click the Trash Can button to delete it. Click Delete again to confirm, and now it's gone. By now, you may have noticed the main menu on the right-hand side. These options will help you manage your My Website package, such as the layout, adding new elements, your domain, your email accounts, and more. In order to add a new element, click the Insert Elements button. Element categories are listed near the top, and relevant elements are displayed below it. Let's see how easy it is to add photos to your site. Click the image icon and drag it to the page where you want the image to appear on your page. When it is positioned where you want, let go of your mouse button. Click the Choose File button to locate an image on your PC and upload it to the site. Or you can click the Image Library tab in order to browse and search a number of stock images available to you. Enter a search term and mouse over the results to see a larger thumbnail. Make a selection and click the Insert button to see your image displayed. You can use tools to align your image, change the size, or make edits. When you're done, don't forget to click the Save button. If the image didn't end up on your page where you expected it, hover your mouse over the image and then click the up or down arrows to reposition it. You can also click and drag the image element to another position as was done earlier. Click the Layout button to browse the different options for the structure of your site. Select a layout and click the Details button to view the customization options available. This layout allows a custom background, which may be what you're looking for. Click the Select button to preview it and then activate the layout to use it. Now, to further customize the layout, click the Style button. Here you can choose a background pattern or choose a solid background color instead. The style options available will depend on your layout selection, so don't be afraid to try a new layout that better fits your needs. Also, don't forget to click the Save button when you're done. Your site may be closer to looking the way you want it, but the masthead of your site still needs attention. Hover your mouse over the header image near the top and then click Edit Header Section. Here you can choose a background for the header of your site. Click the Select Image button and the My Website package will display some recommended images to use for your business category. You can always use the Image Library to search for a stock photo, choose a pattern background, or upload your own image. We'll go back to the recommended images and type in a search term of DISH, then choose one of the results. Now we can click the Title tab to edit the title text, including size, position, color, and more. If you have a company logo and want it displayed in the header, you can upload it using the Logo section. Resize and position as necessary. When you're finished, click the Close button. Now that your site is more aesthetically pleasing, you can begin editing the content on your site. As you make your changes, you may want to create new pages or delete ones that don't apply to you. To manage your pages, hover your mouse over one of the page links and then click the Edit Navigation button. Here you can click the New Page button to create a new page, the arrow buttons to reorder pages, or the trash can button to delete an entire page. As always, click the Save button when you're done. To test how your page will appear to others and to exit the edit mode, scroll down and click the Page View button. Now you can view and navigate your site just as your visitors would. When you want to make another change, just scroll down and click the Edit Page button to go back to the edit mode. When your site is nearly finished, you will want to click the Settings menu option where you can set the title of your site, description, and meta tags so that search engines can properly rank your site. Lastly, if you have not already, you will want to assign your domain name to your My Website. If you need to transfer your domain from another host or you don't have a domain name yet, click the Order Domain Menu option. 
Once your domain has been secured at 1 and 1, you can click the Connect Domain Menu option. This will assign your My Website to your domain name. For further information, please visit faq.1in1.com. And thank you for using 1in1. One